Welcome back to the Team to Beat Miami Heat podcast, your one-stop shop for daily Miami Heat content. For today's episode, I want to talk about Tyler Hero. We all know that Tyler Hero has been one of the most polarizing players on this Miami Heat roster since the Miami Heat drafted him six seasons ago. Tyler Hero has been known as a scorer who is very confident, but also for his struggles in finding his perfect fit with this Miami Heat team. But this season... I think something's changed, especially this offseason and preseason. Hero himself has recently admitted that he was in his feelings about his role last year, um, specifically his offensive role. So what's different now? What has changed since last season? And why should we expect a better version of Tyler Hero this season? And what will this mean if he actually does have a different mindset? Let's dive into that for today's episode. So if we take back a tr- if we take a trip back to the 2020 uh, NBA season, the NBA bubble, or the Miami Heat went to the NBA Finals and ultimately lost to the Los Angeles Lakers in six games. Tyler Hero was a rookie who made a name for himself that year. He was 20 years old at the time. He played a key role in the Miami Heat's run to the NBA Finals, hitting clutch shots and looking like a future star for the Miami Heat. And he looked like an absolute steal in that draft, getting drafted. Um, I think it was 13th overall, but ever since that magical run in 2020, the road has been a little bumpy for Tyler Hero. So if we fast forward to last season, Hero found himself in a difficult, difficult situation. He got hurt multiple times during the regular season and missed tons of games, over 40 games. I think he played like 41 games or so, uh, total or 43, somewhere in that range. And so again, he was injured and unavailable and the biggest and best availability when it comes to sports is availability sometimes or most of the time. So after Tyler signed an extension a few years back, he signed that massive um, extension uh, as soon as he was eligible after his rookie contract expired. Uh, expectations were sky high for Tyler Hero. He was coming off uh, a sixth man of a year um, award where he was averaging like 21 points per game off the bench. But again, it hasn't been smooth sailing Since then, his role has been inconsistent, um, and for a player as confident as Tyler, it's not easy for him to adapt to Eric Spolster's coaching schemes, as uh, Spolster has said in the past. And he recently, again, admitted in the interview, he was in his feelings about the role and his standing within the team. And so Tyler was quoted, I was in my feelings, but now I've bought into what the Heat are doing, which is huge. So right there is the key. Last season, Hero struggled to find consistency. Half of that was because he was hurt, but he always had issues with his shooting percentages. One day he'll get like 13 points um, off of six for 20 shooting. And then the following game, he'll have 24 points on 10 of 12 shooting, being super efficient. So inconsistency inconsistency was one of his issues um, in the past few years. But in this Miami Heat system is not just about individual stats. We know Tyler Hero is an offensive um, player who is really good, who's a bucket, um, but it's about playing your part in a team-first environment. And that's what the Miami Heat are. They're a team-first type of team. Um, they have unselfish stars that play on this team, and so that could be a symptom that they're not the best elite um, scoring you know, stars on this team. But still, um, Hero needs to show that growth and – he has so far this off season again, and this preseason. So why will this year be different? Tyler's buying into the heat's plan and it's not just talk Um, this off season. He also focused on what he needed to do as part of his role. And so he's been maturing not only physically, he gained 12 pounds of muscle. So he wanted to bulk up um, so that he could stay healthy throughout the season. But again, mentally now he's having an understanding that he's a bigger piece to this Miami Heat puzzle. And without him, the Miami Heat are not going to win a championship. They have no chance to win a championship unless Tyler Hero plays a significant, impactful role. And Coach Bolstra basically said this summer, Tyler's been locked in. He's healthier. He's stronger. He's more focused on contributing to winning. And so whether that's the Miami Heat's primary score, which during certain games and certain times he will need to be, or if that's someone who just needs to make the right play, offensively and defensively. Spolster said his trust is growing with him and the Heat system you know, relies heavily on players adapting and changing. And like we saw that with even Duncan Robinson, his teammate, who basically 
um, was unplayable as soon as Max Strus, um, an undrafted player, took his role in the starting lineup. Duncan was getting a ton of DNPs a few seasons ago, and he had to reinvent himself and had to learn new skill sets to just not be that three-point specialist who wasn't good at defense. He had to adapt and learn how to play better defense. He had to learn how to put the ball on the floor and get to the rim and also work on his mid-range and also work on his playmaking and his dribbling. So he is an example of that, and Tyler Hero is someone who's clearly ready to take the next step. Um, there's been a narrative with Tyler Hero um, that you know he's a young, confident star, um, which could be uh, detrimental at times because he believes in himself so much, which is good. But that mindset can be frustrating when things aren't going too well because it means he's not going to play within his role. And we know that Jimmy Butler is the best player on this Miami Heat team. We know Bam Adebayo is the franchise cornerstone and the most important player on this team. And Tyler um, is that third option, right? So he's usually that person that's that scapegoat. So he has a lot of pressure on him, whether it's fair or not, but typically the third option usually has a ton of pressure on them. So hero's journey hasn't been easy. Again, injuries have derailed most of his momentum in his career so far. Um, When he is healthy, he's still a good player, obviously. Um, He's transitioned again from that bench scorer to the starter and that pressure has mounted for him to perform. He's been in trade rumors for the last four or five seasons and has not been traded. So that helps um, make a player, you know, less confident, you know, and have anxiety possibly and trust with the team. So, um, but also this could help with fueling his growth to doubt folks saying that like one Miami Heat don't even want him. No other team wants to even trade for him. Cause I don't think he's valuable. Um, Teams have said the Miami Heat don't have any young assets, really. Um, so I think Hero can take all of this, again, as fuel um, against the detractors and make a name for himself this upcoming season. So um, we'll expect to see Tyler Hero um, not just as a scorer anymore because he's improving in different areas of his game, which is also going to be helpful for the Miami Heat this season. One, as a playmaker, his assists have gone up slightly over the past three years each and every year he's becoming a better defender especially off ball we saw what he's been doing during the preseason averaging a ton of steals so but he is improving on ball as well which is more important i think um but also more importantly he's improving as a teammate and buying into the system um so if he does buy into this miami heat plan he's going to have a dynamic role and if he stays healthy don't be surprised if we see him in the conversation for maybe an all-star selection that's kind of a hot take right there but if Tyler Hero can be fully healthy if he could buy into this system if he could be super efficient I could see him averaging 22 23 points per game shooting 42 43 percent from three getting to the free throw line as he's bulked up and he's now trying to drive to the lane you mentioned the new offense with this Miami Heat system and the preseason has been great because they want to get layups and threes they don't want to waste their time being The top mid-range team, we saw where that got them in terms of offensive rating and points per game. So if Tyler can get to the rack, finish at the rack, but also get to the line and shoot efficiently from three, sky could be the limit. So I think it's time to get excited. The Miami Heat season is going to be starting soon. We are two days away from the opener against the Magic, so I'm really pumped for that. I'm pumped that Tyler Hero's mindset could shift, and it's exactly what uh, what the team needs to make another potential deep playoff run and for Tyler this could be a season where he not only proves the doubters wrong but shows that he's more than just a scorer that he's a complete player ready to make a real impact and maybe flirt with becoming an all-star for the first time in his career which will be probably very difficult but still what do you guys think will Tyler Hero break out this season and prove that he is the missing piece that the Miami Heat needs and that they should be happy that they did not trade him in these past three seasons. Um, but yeah, just let me know overall. Do you think Tyler Hero is going to have a breakout season for this Miami Heat? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And hit the notification bell for more Miami Heat content. As the season is just approaching, we're going to be putting out a ton of videos all throughout the season. So until that, until next time, Heat Nation, thank you again. And I'll talk to you soon.